also for me a big hello uh, from Hamburg, moin moin, as we say here. Um, so I think we have a very international audience today, and uh, let me just give you a short overview of where we are and um, uh, how this is all interconnected. It's a bit difficult to understand how this um, comes together. So I'm from Dassault System, and we run a number of uh, 3D experience innovation centers around the globe, and uh, we have two in operation, and actually now three. There's uh, a short, uh, uh, just a short time ago, uh, we opened one in, in China as well. So, and uh, here's a bit of a image video of it, uh, giving you a bit of a um, perspective. So we are trying to find locations for our innovation centers to embed them in an innovation ecosystem already. So uh, we are looking for places which um, are built and made to accelerate innovation um, by, by the location already. And um, I will just mute this because I think you don't hear that. Um, and these are now images taken from Vigita. We have the one in uh, Wichita, Kansas, USA, and one in Germany and Hamburg. Both of them are um, very geared towards um, supporting our aerospace customers, of course. Um, this, this is why we chose these locations. And uh, the, the third one then is, is in China, it's more for the automotive in industry. Um, but these two currently um, in operation, embedded in these innovation ecosystems are the one in Wichita and at the, at the ZAL in Ham Hamburg. So the ZAL is the Center for Applied Aeronautics Research. Um, it's, a, it's a location, first of all, it has a tech center um, where different companies like Airbus, but also the supply chain in Germany, Strong, Liebherr or Deal Aviation um, has, has a presence and we share the same facility and uh, work together on projects, um, especially research projects, innovation projects, and of course, uh, exploring um, ideas and technologies along the way. So, um, as I said, these are the, the centers which we have. Um, and uh, giving you a bit of an overview, um, so this is uh, the Saal in Hamburg. It's a beautiful location. Um, giving us a lot of space as well to run uh, workshops, um, these innovation projects, um, but also, of course, host events. We have an auditorium. Um, if, um, I can show you later the link to this website. They have made a virtual tour, so it was very difficult to visit us uh, recently. So um, definitely now this is a good um, Good way to explore this a bit. So I you know I moved too far away. So um, just giving you also maybe a view into the um, tech labs. Um, I will come to this later. How we now combine our strength, bring a, bringing a virtual uh, innovation platform to the Zal in collaboration with all these um, experts and uh, domains, technical domains, which the Zal covers. So, um, that said, um, I would like then just to uh, go a bit into the, the history of it before I go um, to the uh, offer which we have together now with the ZAL. Uh, I wanted to highlight a project which we have done at Wichita together with Airbus. So, here really the idea was to have a sprint. It was meant to be 90 days and having the people on board in the same location, but also connecting them through the virtual 3D experience platform. And uh, what we did there is that the idea was to, do, to, to develop a thrust reversal unit and uh, Airbus brought really together different disciplines. So, and this is where the strength of the um, platform comes in. We have the 
possibility to run simulations, uh, visualize these results, make them understandable, make them actually experienceable. So you can also then, of course, take these um, virtual models, take them into, for example, a virtual reality cave or a power wall um, where you can really immerse yourself in, in these environments. And you can then experience um, a virtual part which has not been built yet. So in the end here, the idea was also to leverage uh, the, the, the NIA, which is the National Institute for Aeronautics Research, which is our partner in Wichita. I forgot to mention that. And uh, there really we put together the strengths of our customer Airbus together with our partner Nair and the 3D Experience platform and all of them work together then on, on, on the same models in the same environment and this really created a, a really good atmosphere. Uh, they were actually also really fast. Um, part of this was also part of the engagement was the training. So. In principle, um, what I'm going to tell you here is also that we are embarking on a digital transformation journey. So uh, it's important to understand that digital tools today allow you a completely different workflow, um, breaking the silos between engineering disciplines. So here we had simulation, um, engineering plus manufacturing engineering. So they also already designed um, or they looked, is it easy to manufacture? Are we able to do this um, with a certain rate which you, which you need with certain costs and how much can we actually produce? So they specifically looked also into the, the manufacturing side. And of course, in the end, we're able to build a, um, um, a physical prototype. So um, that's it, that's already the, the project which has been uh, in, very successful um, and we brought this now also to, um, I wanted to show you the picture that is a bit sluggish today, um, early morning. Um, so anyway, so you see already I'm on, on the 3D experience platform, I'm using our um, social collaboration apps uh, which allow us to share information. Um, this is uh, something which we do in all these kind of projects. Um, we are able to create dashboards and then link um, all the stakeholders part of the project together and share the information, work together on, on the same platform. And um, this innovation service then just a second. It's a broadcasting as well, um, which probably takes a bit of bandwidth. Um, I did, forgot to mention this is on the cloud, so uh, it's accessible from anywhere. So I could have spent the day uh, on the beach if it wouldn't be so cold already. And uh, so bringing you back from Wichita to the Zal um, is now the what we do here. So we looked into the technical expertise which the Zal has, and they are really also great. They have a team which runs these innovation workshops with customers, and we said, okay, why don't we bring the physical world together with the new virtual world at the system? And this is exactly what this offering um, is. Uh, we will uh, guide you through that ideation process, looking at your ideas, giving them some benchmarking as well, screening them for feasibility. Of course, also feasibility can be do it here. Is this the right, the right place to to make make it real, make it make it happen at, at this place, or maybe it's a good idea, but uh, this is not the right place. This could be also a very first outcome. Um, of these uh, different gated approach. So we always have milestones where we uh, assess, okay, where are we? What do we have, what have we found? Um, and what will be the next, uh, next step? So going from screening and benchmarking, then designing a first concept, maybe sketching, uh, and then really then also using, of course, more our um, apps and just 
the um, usage, the utilization of the 3D experience platform will also increase over time. Of course, first, the social aspect of running the project, uh, project management, sharing of information, this will be all done on the platform as well. Um, then designing and concepting the first uh, prototype. Uh, and then one has to decide, okay, do we want to have a more virtual experience or do we need a really hardware prototype? Um, then we can go to the workshops at the ZAL and just uh, use the, their expertise they can 3D print it, they have uh, mechanical workshops, electrical workshops, um, electrical labs, if, it's, uh, if there's a bit of experimentation with it. And there's, I will come to this, I'm just uh, going ahead. Um, so this is a bit of the view of the infrastructure at the ZAL, um, which complements really nicely what we have with our brands. So our offering is often structured in certain brands and so we have Simulia which are then all the simulation brands and I try to a bit, a bit match the um, different brands which we have to these technical domains. Um, additive manufacturing is of course topology optimization is a strong factor, a strong aspect when you look how to um, get value from additive manufacturing. Um, but of course, the design also plays a role from Katia and even the production with them. Yeah. So understanding the production process. So maybe if they say, okay, uh, we have already very good designers, they are very experienced, but we need to understand how the production works. And then we could actually maybe even look more into the production aspects, um, automation and robotics. We could even robot, use a robot to 3D print. Um, that's uh, what I showed also earlier in one of the images. Um, at, at ZAL, we don't only have uh, the classical 3D printers, the boxes, but we can really print in all directions with with robots. And of course, there the match would be the EMEA to look into, into the production and manufacturing aspects and uh, virtual reality. If it's a more virtual um, type of experience and prototype, then we can go into the lab and use the big power wall. There is a um, six meter by three meter um, power wall where we can really immerse ourselves in, in these um, products and experiences which we developed in, in this concept phase and design phase. We could also say, okay, it's so more electronic cabin systems or acoustic vibrations. Um, very big part here now is and it's very growing is of course electrical power systems and um, in particular for with fuel cells and uh, another very um, important aspect is the data acquisition and processing um, and the industrial AI, AI which can be used to analyze this kind of data which you actually acquired maybe from a production machine which you could also maybe bring into heat the the ZAL, you say okay we want to understand how how we can connect the machines and then um, get value out of that so yes and um, the ZAL also has what I like very much um, certain experimental setups which which help you to accelerate this process as well so um, let's say We could use this salamander as an autonomous guided vehicle or autonomous robot. If we put a robot on the nose again using the sensor data or making uh, object detection, um, pattern recognition, something like this as well. And uh, of course, there has to be something flying. Um, I very much like the Zalvatros. Um, it's a drone uh, which I forgot the payload, but it's uh, powered by a fuel cell. Um, you say you see that it's carrying um, the hydrogen tank already, um, and yes. So this this is the setup. Um, the team around here is uh, Matthias Bonk, uh, Nils Hennemann, who unfortunately couldn't join me today. Um, but uh, we are here. Uh, you can approach us. Um, understanding how we could engage and how we would do that. 
Uh, this is then um, Heiner Kastorf, who is a senior um, innovation manager supporting the project as well. And uh, last but not least, uh, myself. Uh, you have the contacts available. And uh, just wanted to give you also a bit of a view how the how I would see how the innovation um, platform could help you. So uh, we have social analytics apps, and I posted this, maybe you saw that on LinkedIn. I was looking and trying to understand, okay, how um, do we understand uh, certain trends in the industry? And we have all this on the platform. We can also share this with each other. So um, it's, it's important that we can really track these topics. For example, very much I was looking for Kevin's, uh, Kevin Innovation, so you can set up um, a track topic inside of um, the, the platform and then you don't have to cover all the time all the news out outlets or all the sites you, cre you create once you create a library which you can use. We also have a pre-arranged uh, library which you can use, so that's what I did here. I didn't spend so much time on, it, on that. Um, it was really putting together very fast, uh, already a large data set, um, scanning, scanning the news. You see, I said it up like last week, or two weeks ago, and uh, it's collecting then over the time, all the time, um, this information, and then you can really just look into it. Um, you say, okay, um, uh, what's interesting, design trends, maybe this one, and then it brings you directly to um, the web page. And you can all already link this together. So um, yes, uh, let's close this. And you can also say, okay, where does it come from? Is it press or media? So you have different kinds of uh, possibilities to analyze this very quickly. Um, you can have these kind of word clouds, who is actually very active. So this really changed. Uh, Airbus was like two weeks ago, was not really on the top list. So Airbus must have been uh, very active in the, in the latest uh, days to announce uh, certain um, cabin innovation projects. And um, then really here, that's what I meant. I have one source uh, which brings me already 660 articles and I can analyze this. And um, once you spend maybe half a day, I would say, creating a really nice library, putting all the sources which you already have maybe, and, and using this together and um, then um, creating this library. And then you don't need to spend much time anymore. Let's say you have sources 100, 200, and if you only spend 10 minutes on each source uh, without actually reading the articles, uh, you would spend a day easily, or maybe two days, three days, just by reading and scanning and understanding all your sources. And this gives you a very good um, idea uh, what's happening, when it's happening. Um, you see, for example, then also what is said, where is it happening? So we can really drill down also in this uh, kind of information, understand, okay, who said it um, and, and what's, uh, what's actually going on. So this uh, just just for for that. So in, in this kind of benchmarking, and what I forget forgot, and which I didn't have time, unfortunately, is now of course um, innovation now is automation. Um, this whole process, I spoke. How does the platform actually help you? How does it accelerate you? And and this is how we do it. Um, you can now, for example, make an make an extract of that and publish it to a community. And we have then these uh, communities on the dashboard as well. You can link it. Um, you can then really push information into this community. Um, you can set up certain members, join, let them join there and uh, discuss articles, discuss findings, and of course also then um, putting in the different uh, aspects for um, for your project, yeah? so it could be a more this company-wide innovation project which is visible to everybody. You want to say, okay, no, I want to investigate this idea first more in a private manner. Um, I have my selected teams and I, and I identified my teams. Um, so also this is a functionality on the platform which is very strong. 
So I think, for example, if you want to understand now, okay, machine learning was something I mentioned earlier, um, and I need somebody, I'm not, not an expert, so I can actually use all the information which is then on the platform with also, also the people and their profiles, um, understanding, oh, yes, there is one person, um, Tijani, uh, he somehow mentioned, of course, apparently that he has some machine learning experience. Um, how could I maybe approach him and uh, get in touch? So let's see what he wrote. Okay, he's a robotics intelligence system. That's very good, exactly what I need in my team. So um, that's what I meant. We use this information. Um, close this here. Close this as well. Um, and then look at this and say, okay, uh, I should actually take him inside of my contract. Now I'm struggling with a go to webinar here. I need to close this to make this a bit larger. So, um, as I said, have to move around the go to web return to, towards. Um, I started this project and say, say, okay, as an author, I would like to have this uh, person, Tijani, on the team. Yeah, very good. Add them here. Oh, is it too fast. Select them, um, add them to the team. Very good. So we are already two people. And then this grows over time. Um, you can use the dashboard then to post certain things. That's what I said. It's like an idea. Um, I said, Kevin, I think very often we look into hygiene with the COVID area right now, which we have. So let's make, uh, let's make a touchless touchless cabin experience so and then we just publish this and we get okay I need to write a bit more <laughs> and uh, publish it here and then we can also collect these ideas so um, and then goes into the ideation funnel um, which guides us through this um, timeline of certain ideas, um, we can uh, understand this, filter on ideas, and uh, use really the experience platform to, to engage with each other um, very early on. And of course, I, I'm not an engineer by training, as you probably already understood. Um, all the detailed design apps are then really connected to the platform, of course, as well. We have these web-based apps, um, but also then um depending on your um your roles you have other apps which are then the native apps rich client apps which are installed then locally on on your machine but of course directly connected to your um to your uh, environment the 3d experience platform so um that's it let's go back where's the team um we are almost at the end. Hope to give you a short insight. What we want to do with you, um, I hope it triggered um, some ideas. Uh, feel free to get in touch with us. Um, so, Andrea, we are almost uh, over time, but uh, maybe you have one or two questions. Thank you, Swen. So, yes, as announced, let me see the first question. Uh, so, here we go. So, how do you guarantee if intellectual property is protected? Okay, that's an important uh, question. Um, of course, you don't want to bring your uh, brand new ideas uh, maybe into a cloud platform, which is uh, not under your administration or whatsoever, and um, even maybe uh, understanding how to share this information with the extended team. Of course, the team from us, our experts as well. Um, we have, of course, your um, your collaboration space. It's dedicated to you. Um, you invite us uh, to this platform. So you will run this project on the cloud in a, in a dedicated environment just for you. Um, you, um, you are in 
all the aspects responsible, who to invite and what kind of information you want to share on, on the platform. And on top of that, of course, on the legal side, we have an NDA, a non-disclosure uh, agreement in place, which everybody, every stakeholder, every participant um, from all different parties has to sign. Thank you. So I still see another one. So you could take it, Swen, but we are running out of the time. So this will be the last one. So the question is, how do we engage with you if you are interested to run a project, if we are interested to run a project? Yes. Um, so as I said, it's a gated approach. Um, and I showed the very first of it, the ideation process. But of course, there comes the first uh, step and this is the problem framing uh, it could be also a workshop a meeting um, where we talk together because innovation often comes from a project or um, a problem which you already have in your company and which you want to investigate it can it can be a small improvement uh, it can be a change you want to implement but it also of course can be a huge disruptive innovative idea which uh, is a completely new business experience and business business model as well. And so, depending on that, we will have, of course, at the beginning, um, for free, uh, a workshop, problem framing workshop, understanding um, what you want to achieve. Um, and then we go into this gated approach, with, which is also, you book it by the milestones. So, so if you say, okay, I want to do this ideation with you because I think you have the experts which I need, um, and I also want to do benchmarking because you have the network. We, of course, use the environment then as well to bring in, in uh, the experts running these uh, kind of uh, workshops with you and giving their advice and um, giving you a bit of a feeling how this idea would actually resonate with the market. So, um, and then of course, okay, now I want to build it. And what is it, what do you want to build? Is it a virtual prototype? Is it a, it's a real physical prototype. Depending on that, uh, we have milestones in different packages, and you book this by the milestones. Yes, hope to um, get in touch with you. Hope that you enjoyed um, this bit of a glimpse into what we now do together with the ZAL, the Center of Applied Aeronautics Research in Hamburg. Of course, this is a cloud hosted environment. Um, we are not allowed to travel so much. We can do this, of course, remotely as well. Okay. So thank you, Sven. Thank you all for your interest, and we hope to see you again. Goodbye. Bye. Have a good day.